Charlie, did you have an interaction with a DoorDash driver one time? I did. Is that right? How did that go? Mm. What happened? It didn't go well. Did he get mad at you about a tip or something? Sure did. Yes. Did you at least leave a bad review or something like that? I think I reported him, yeah, because I was I was pretty frustrated. It's too bad you didn't have your doorbell I didn't, camera on I didn't at that at time. time. I wanted to talk about this earlier in the week. It's a ridiculous story, but to me, it's we've been talking a lot about how victimhood and entitlement are what's actually destroying uh, the country, this entitlement mentality, and, and people are becoming entitled to, to tips, and they especially feel like they're entitled to things from people who have more than they do because they're envious. And this tipping thing was a really great example of that because the guy says, you've got a nice house and you only gave me a $5 tip as if it were someone in a lesser house than his service was only worth $5. But if it's someone in a nicer house, his service was worth way more than that. That's mm -hmm. not how that works at all. They didn't charge him more for the pizza because the person had a different house <laughs> than someone else who lived in the trailer park. Pizza costs the same. Yeah. Okay. We'll watch the video. It's a little bit too infuriating for, for me. So I actually... Can I tell a personal story afterwards? I was trying to get you to tell the personal oh, you story. You to tell it before the video. Yeah. Well, people, or we can tell it afterwards. We'll play yeah, the video. People don't know what this is yeah, about. Yeah, I, I was trying to, to, to get you to talk about it. Hi. Hello. Come here, Max. Thank you. Welcome. I just want to say it's a nice house for a five dollar tip. You're welcome. A little similar, except I, I went, I clapped back. <laughs> <laughs> and I will say, look, I I tip ten dollars. I'm not trying to brag or anything like that, but I realize <laughs> that my house is not close and I used to be in the service industry. Okay. So I understand what it's like to work for tips. And so I'm, I approach things a little bit differently and then you and I were hanging out, ordered a pizza cost 20 bucks and I left him $10, which is a 50% tip by the way. You left $10. Yeah. $10. <laughs> and of course I watched the guy on the app, take the, like the back way. There's a lot, there's a much easier way to my house from the city that <clears throat> and it's about 15 minute drive. I get mm -hmm. it. You know, it kind of sucks. But he took like the windy roads to my house and he could have taken the interstate and it would have been much easier. Anyway, he was nice at first, just like that. And I was like, oh, thank you. <clears throat> and he's like, basically, by the way, his license plate was like from Pennsylvania. Makes sense. Mm -hmm. And he's like, oh, you're only going to give me $10 for driving all the way out here. And I was like, what do you mean? Like, what do you mean? And he was like, basically F you mm -hmm. and F that. And so I was like, F me. F you. It's not F me. It's F you, buddy. And a neighbor <laughs> across the street was in his backyard, like peeked around the corner of his house. It was like, what just happened? And I was like, I have like, what just happened? This guy just went off on me because I gave him extra money. A $10 tip for delivering yeah. 20 bucks worth of pizza. Yeah. Yeah. And by the way, he's already making money per hour or per mm. mileage or whatever DoorDash pays you. They don't work just off tips. It was insane. It was insane. Absolutely insane. I can't. But he's, I from the, he's from the Northeast, so it makes sense. You know what's, what's weird is this is actually the most frustrated I've been so far during the show. <laughs> really? Because these are just your, it's not, we're talk, not talking about these elites on MSNBC, you know, these people running the world. These are your normal, average, everyday people. And I like to believe that your normal people aren't quite as crazy as what you see all over the place, but... This is a symptom of a bigger problem. This dude didn't have to even get a tip. Like when you decide to deliver things, you decide to deliver it for the price that the company pays you to deliver that item. And it's judged by the, the, the distance and the time that it takes you to deliver the item. And a tip is great if someone wants to give you a tip. That's cool. I did. Also... Being in the service mm. industry, you can be frustrated about your tip. Mm -hmm. There's nothing wrong with that. Like I, plenty of times in my serving career, I was frustrated, but frustrated by either no tip or a small tip when I felt like I did a really good job. Yeah, especially on okay? Sundays. Especially on Sundays. Yes, the the crowd that turns over their wine glass. Whoever shows up on Sundays roughly after noon are the worst people to take care of. They are. And if you're one of those people listening, that's your job 
to try and be better. Be better than that. Be, be actually an example. Of but this. all the people that I ever worked with know clear and well that working Sunday afternoon is the worst day yeah. because they are the worst people. But what you never do is say F you to the customer. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, that, like, that's the difference. See, this is what I explained to my six-year-old. Like, <clears throat> you know, feelings are valid, but behavior is not. You know, you have to, you have to be able to emotionally regu regulate yourself and not, not to be an asshole to a stranger. <laughs> like, maybe they don't know any better. How do you know? Like... Or when I was younger, I used to you think you could just be appreciative of what you got and you can still be frustrated and tell your friends like, man, they had a super nice house. And they only gave me five bucks. Like what the hell? And then your friend can be like, oh yeah, that sucks. You know, maybe next time. I, to, I didn't know about the percentage rule until I started waiting tables and not even at the first place I waited tables. It was at Red Lobster, I think was like the first actual restaurant. Red well, okay. Lobster. That's that was not it. Close I thought, though. I thought that was Red Robin does sound good right now. Now that you sing that, hmm. I don't like Red Robin. To get an egg on my burger, man. I love it. You can put an egg on your own burger. I want a Red Robin egg on my Red Robin burger. Okay. <laughs> oh. Okay. Anyway, I didn't know that there was a percentage rule. I just thought that I just thought that you tipped based on like how many people were there. So it was like, I literally used. Maybe this is embarrassing. I was like, if I was at a cheap place, I was like, well, a dollar a person, that's your tip. And if I was a nice place, I'm like, oh, like $5 a person. That's yeah. what you tip. You know, and it was based on like how nice the place looked, how many, how much you would tip per person that was there. Literally never thought about looking like at the bill at order all. order per item that they bring to your table. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> have you ever you. had the person who Thank put... Thank you for this fork. Here's a quarter. Did you ever had the person who put the $20 bill out and they said that this is where it's starting and they can either, it can go down... Or oh, it yeah. can go up from here. Mm -hmm. Lacey had those people. Like they would put it on the table and they'd say, this is where it's starting and it's either going to go down or go up from and here. they order $500 yeah. worth of food. <laughs> Anyhow, this guy did get fired, by the way. He got kicked off. I guess he was using DoorDash. He got kicked off and he got flagged. So justice was served, I guess. It's just, it's concerning to me. You've had this experience. Mm -hmm. I, I would have never thought about... I was happy anytime I got a tip when I was doing Uber Eats deliveries. It's not every time that you get a tip on something, you know? It's like half the time you get a tip on something. And then well, you get mad about a tip? I think what you're saying, the, the root, the <clears throat> deeper problem that we're having in America is all this emotional dysregulation. <laughs> yeah. That's really what it is. It's true. I mean, to like not treat people respectfully because they do something, you know, either to you or or you perceive it as it's against you or whatever the case may be. Like we, we used to be, we used to grow up with values in America, mm -hmm. something called honor and mm. respect mm. and character, you know, and, and moral culpability. Like you, like you being a good person mattered. Yeah. And now it's, you don't see that as often. There are still good people out there, there are. but you don't see that as often. And you just, people just, they just emotionally vomit all over you and it's your fault this guy's walking around being a victim okay he's he's upset about what the world has done to him and he sees this person mm -hmm. in a nice house he hates his job he hates his life he hates his wife he hates his kids okay and he, he just got he thought that he was entitled to more money from this person who was in this nice house and that's a really great way to boil down what's going wrong going wrong in America right now. 